Well, hello everybody. This is Medic and Olive here. Welcoming you to another episode of How Fucked Up Can Fucked Up Be? I don't know what's wrong with him, but he will not get out of our truck. Okay. And he's got to go. Sir, it's a wrap. Looks like they want you out. They want you out, sir. No fight we tried time. to help honey, but the way that you got in here and the way that you just got us out of here, you know. All right, sir. Come on. Come on. No games. Get out. Thank you. Okay. Two seven seven out. Okay. Honey, you told us you had pain from drinking water, and then you came in and you jumped at me and my seven, seven, and demanded seven, oxygen. You would not let go of me. Two, four, seven, same traffic. Four, seven, same traffic. He's my I'm freaking out. All right. You freak out too if you can't breathe. I hear you. I probably try to control myself a little bit better. I'm not going to grab on anybody. You know what I mean? No, I'll try to grab for the door. Okay. Here. Okay. These two okay. EMTs Now's your chance. All right. All right. had a gentleman in the back of their ambulance who was obviously in distress. I could hear it from the cop's uh, chest cam, body cam. And uh, look, I, I'm, I, I'm calling CHF or COPD exacerbation from, the, from three feet away from the door, you know? Uh, like, I don't know, it, uh, is, I don't know, uh, are they not teaching, like, assessment in, in EMS school anymore? Like, I'm really, I'm really at a loss for words. Is that all you guys want, though? Then just, no, no. Oh, she's done, so we should be separate cars. Just grab that yellow handle right there and that should help you out. 277, all set for cars. Can you take me to the hospital where? No. We tried to take you, but honey, that was that was unacceptable. There was no reason for that. There was no issue. There's a yellow handle right next to you. Alright, or not. That's it. That's all you drop. You okay. Your water? Sidewalk's right over there. And, like, I understand the cop maybe not having any medical training or anything. That's fine, but, you know, just, like, having, helping them get somebody out of an ambulance, asking them to go to the hospital, uh, I mean, I understand it. I've had a lot of people in the back of my ambulance that didn't need to be there that I wish the cops would have helped me kick out. And that's not on the cops, in my opinion. This is on the EMTs. This is definitely on the EMTs. The EMTs fucked up. The cops, they came in, they did what the EMTs asked, because the EMTs said, this patient is unruly, did something inappropriate. You know what? By God, thank the cops for actually trying to help the EMS, because I really haven't seen that much help from the cops in EMS in my career. It seems like every time like I've been assaulted or you know uh, my partner's been assaulted or there's been like some huge issue, it all gets swept under the rug because the cops don't want to deal with it because it's too much of an issue, even though you know assault on an EMT is a class X felony. So here's my deal is <clears throat> You know, this gentleman obviously came in, and, and from the way he's sitting on the cot, I can tell you he was unruly because he couldn't breathe. And he tells you he couldn't breathe. The reason he couldn't breathe is because he had CHF exacerbation or COPD exacerbation, and he wanted his legs down so he could lean over and breathe. I'm telling you, that's exactly what was going on. And if they'd have put a CPAP on him and just coached him through it, man, hey, Look, I know, it feels weird. It feels weird. 
just breathe breathe through it breathe through it it's gonna force some air in there it's gonna force some stuff down into your lungs hell listen to his lungs I'd have loved to find out uh, what his lungs sounded like I mean that's really the awful part of it is I just despise what these people did <clears throat> I think it's a, number one, there is a lack of training. Number two, the police department did a horrible job because that man fell off. If you look at the video, you, you can definitely see at least five police officers milling around while this gentleman fell off this bench that he was sitting on and just go unconscious they didn't say hey look hey what's up they didn't walk over and like poke them with their boot i don't give a fuck nobody did shit for like three or four minutes that is absolutely despicable i am sorry these two ents either no need to go to remedial training or need to go to jail for this it's fucking ridiculous if they were in my class, oh my god, I, oh. if these two, if I could have recognized them, if they would have been in the class that I would have teached, oh, I, mm, they would have never been a class that I would teach, because that wouldn't have happened, couldn't have happened, could not have happened, because I literally, yeah, uh, I know what sounds to listen for, and they should have known what sounds to listen for. Even if they're basics. Listen for sounds. CPAP is now a basic, basic thing you can do. It's so frustrating to me to watch all this shit go down. And I just can't stand it anymore. Like, we gotta do better, people. Oh, we gotta do better. Just as a society in general. I'm assuming whoever walked up on scene at the end was some sort of a supervisor. He did his job. He yelled, get my, get my med bag, get my uh, monitor. That was what he should have done. But nobody did it when they should have done it. Nobody did it with urgency. Uh, there was no compassion. There was no care. There was literally zip all. Nothing, not a zip. Yeah. I just can't believe that. It is hard for me to fucking watch that video. I, I watched it first from another YouTuber and I literally told the person I was watching it with, I was like, I can't believe these fucking people. I can listen and I can hear that. I can, I can treat this person from the door now, from a video from the door. complete lack of compassion but i get it they're burnt out they are burnt the fuck out and that's the problem with ems is we get run into fucking dirt and one little thing will set us off and make us so we don't see the for the trees for the forest we can't see the small things because we just see the big fucking fuck you off uh, hey y'all, well, this is Medic and Olive, signing off. Hope those two, uh, two EMTs get a firm talking to. If not a few charges, maybe. And, god damn, at least a little bit more training. At least training and talking to. Because, fuck, that was bad. Love y'all. He's out.